Blackburn Rovers' first home league game of 2018 as against second place Shrewsbury Town. Must win in my eyes. We only got and smashed them 3-1. That's right folks, back once again with another match review, this time reviewing the biggest match of the season for Blackburn Rovers. Second place, Shrewsbury Town, the visitors up against the hosts and the best team in the whole world, third place, Blackburn Rovers. Must win in my eyes and we did it, we did that, we'll talk more about that in just a second. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, keep your bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers, crucial point of the season and... We did it. Job done. Let's jump into the deep end. Blackburn was 3-1 winners over second place Shrewsbury Town. Blackburn Rose took the lead. 14th minute from a beautiful, wonderful free kick from the man, the myth, the legend, Captain Morgrew. I don't know what number. That was 10. Goal number 10 of the season for him. Then Shrewsbury got a bit of a jammy penalty. We'll talk more about that in a second. Nolan put it away on the 35th minute. Into the halftime. So after the halftime whistle, players came out guns blazing. Danny Graham. Back in his ninth, I think, of the season. Before the man, the myth, the legend, Captain Mulgrew with his 11th, yes, 11th goal of the campaign. That's more than uh, Lacazette at Arsenal. He's the top goal scorer at Blackburn Rovers. And he's playing centre-back. Bonkers. Let's take a look at the deep end, at the statistics. So here we are. Yeah, bizarrely enough, we didn't, have, we didn't dominate possession. It was all Shrewsbury, 55%. But we had 10 shots compared to their seven. Seven of them on target. Uh, only three for Shrewsbury. Four corners for Rovers, one for Shrewsbury. We were the dirty of the size. 18 fouls compared to those 13. Ten shots. Seven on target. That just shows how much uh, effort the players were putting into this. This was, this was a, 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 an unbelievable fall. Anyway, let's just let's run through the teams here quickly. Uh, the starting 11 for Blackburn Rovers was like this. Uh, Ryer and Gold, Nayimbi, Mulgrew, Downing, Williams, Dak, Smallwood, Bennett, Conway, Graham, and Samuel. Now, get a load of these ratings. Ryan with a 7, Naimi with an 8, Mulgrew with a 9, Downing with a 7, Williams with a 7, Dak with a 9, Smallwood with an 8, Bennett with an 8, Conway with an uh, 8, Graham with a 9, Samuel with a 7. Amazing performance. Amazing team performance. I've got to get rid of these bells. Uh, they do my nutting. But amazing performance by these guys. I, you know, I couldn't fault anybody. Ryan maybe a little bit further to uh, the dodgy penalty situation which 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 I think it looks like it was a penalty so he has to take, take a little bit of blame for that and realistically he didn't save it so boo so Ryan gets a seven but really quality performance from him between the sticks Nyimbi oh my days he seems to be getting better these past few few uh, matches I was one of his bigger critics but today he was a, uh, a dynamo out on right full of running Full of skills and trickery towards the end. I couldn't believe who I was watching. Uh, Captain Mulgrew, well, we know all about him. Um, reason he didn't get a 10? Well, I don't know. I can't. I, the, I, I'll only give a 10 for something mind bogglingly uh, uber out of this world, world class. But consider that a 10, really. But, you know, you, I'm saving a 10. I'm sure there's a, a 10 out of 10 performance coming up from somebody. Downing uh, celebrated his. Uh, permanent deal for Rovers with a 7 out of 10 performance. Williams with a 7 out of 10 on the left. Not as dynamic as the uh, NIMB today, but still crucial. Maybe he was kind of putting a, st put a statement of a 10 on that left back spot, considering we are linked with another left back in the uh, transfer window. Moving forward, I'll save the best for last, or one of the best for last. Conway, was, it was like a, a, a man reborn today. Conway, full of running, full of grit, full of desire. Uh, and that was, you know, that's, that was that was the the essence of Blackburn Rovers today. They were full of it. They 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 knew what was what was required, and they delivered. Bennett in central midfield was dynamic. I couldn't, yeah, couldn't believe what I was watching. He did have a bit of a wild shot. Uh, I think it was in the first half. Um, you know, I, I I know Bennett can put them back in the net, but that was a bit of an ambitious effort. But perfect partnership, I thought, with Smallwood today. I think Moby might have unearthed a bit of a gem. Uh, so he's going to be competing with the likes of Tomlinson, the likes of Whittington Evans. Uh, so maybe, just maybe, we might see one of those depart, more than likely Evans, over the next few days. Uh, Smallwood was, was Smallwood, King of Ewood, uh, and Bradley Dagg. What a, I tell you, there is some rumours sniffing around that with Pritchard more than likely going to Huddersfield uh, from Norwich. And Norwich are sniffing around for a creative wizard. They will not 
uh, I don't know, I'll chain myself to Bradley Dak to make sure that does not happen. He's been a creative, I don't know, angel. You know, I've never seen a player like that wearing the blue and white horse since uh, David Dunn. You know, I'll speak more about David Dunn in a little bit. Um, but he's been, he's been, a, he's been a, a, a refreshing change. You know, we've, you know, the go turn back the the clock twelve months. Of Owen Coyle, the the highlight of the of the eleven was probably Marvin Emnes, Marvin Emnes or Bradley Dak. Come on, come on, no brainer. Moving forward, Dominic Sam didn't have the best of days, but he still was cr crucial to the whole three points. And Danny Graham, wondrous Danny Graham. He is on fire at the moment, scoring goals left, right, and centre. He didn't get one in the FA Cup, but who cares? He got the most important one today, the one that took us our noses in front. Up against second place Shrewsbury. Yes, it still leaves us in third place, but we're closing the gap on Shrewsbury. That's two points. One more slip up from them, and we could uh, leapfrog them and jump into second spot. And Wigan. Oh, Wigan. They also uh, uh, blew an opportunity to further extend the lead. They could only draw at home to uh, Peterborough. And Peterborough are on a pushover. Oh my god, it's just been such a wonderful result. Anyway, let's, let's keep on moving, keep on moving. Here is the starting lineup for Shrewsbury. Henderson in goal now. Let me tell you about Henderson. What a bad sportsman or whatever. Bit of a bit of a rumour has it he was throwing I know you're you're on the pitch and it, there's you shouldn't be at the at the at the mercy of fans throwing stuff at you, but you realistically as a professional you shouldn't really retaliate. And I think there's rumours of it that he retaliated and threw something back into the crowd, which is a bit bit of a low blow. Yes, fans should be doing it in the first place, but as a professional, you should also uh, have a bit of uh, um, discipline within yourself, cool, calm head. And I saw I saw uh, in the first half, I believe, no second half, that um, David Raya was getting a fair bit of abuse from the Shrewsbury fans. Um, so you know, it swings and roundabouts, mate. You got to you got to put your chin up. You're a professional. This is what you paid for. You got to deal with the flack um, from the fans. Anyway, moving forward, Bolton, Sadler, Nasalia, Beckles, uh, back four, Agogo, Wally, Nolan, Godfrey, Morris, and Rodman up front. Well, we've heard a little sample of what I've had to say. Here's what the gaff had to say shortly after kickoff, after the cracking three-one result against second place Shrewsbury. Obviously the result's big, it's important, it was important not to let them sort of um, get too far in front of us um, because once you get to 20 games the games tick down really fast um, so it is, we've just, we're, we're hunting them down basically and if we want to we want to look at it in that way. We've been hunting them down for a good few weeks now and, and, and any given week if you're not right at it and you drop points it's a it can gap can open pretty quickly so today was just important to close that gap to keep it tight and, and for sure me to feel that um the blackburn rovers right up there in the league isn't isn't because of any good fortune or anything other than just being a good team and um, and i felt their good qualities today i felt how fast they were on the transition and and the threat they were and the quality of passing on the edge of the box at times I, I, I ultimately felt over 90 minutes we were a better team, but we have to prove that over the next 20 games. I hope so, but it might also motivate them as well and drive them on. Um, I'm pretty sure they're not going to be going away from the position they're in, at, uh, but it's down to us to to win our games. We can't affect Shrewsbury's season from the rest you know, from now on. That's who's played them twice, and um, we've taken four points. It's you know, if we go to is it Fleetwood next, if we go to Fleetwood and lose and they win, the gap opens again. It's we've got to make sure we stay right on it every game. And um, and if somebody beats us, they deserve to beat us on the day because they played better than us. Yeah, it was pleasing. I think that was, that was the challenge for the players today, really, to find that right balance of intensity to um, not to be overcooked where they forget to play and they just run around kicking everybody and, and giving fouls away, and, uh, but not to be undercooked where they. Um, get blown away because the intensity of the opposition and because uh, I think Shrewsbury a really high intensity team very athletic so we had to match that early on um, which I think we did I think they took the game plan onto the pitch and, and, and executed it perfectly really despite getting pegged back with a penalty that you know was questionable but um, they showed great character to get the win That's, I, I was just saying upstairs really your big players have to produce on big games and um, two of ours did today. I, I would have to say so we've got Conway needs mention today, fantastic performance and Smallwood Bennett playing out of position slightly but looked like he's played there all his life. Um, 
Big players produce big performances and, and ultimately when you need to win games, your big players have to make the difference. As at every level of football, you know, Lionel Messi scores every week for Barca when they win and um, Harry Kane scores every week for Tottenham and you know the big players have to produce and our big players produce today for us. And the, the penalty situation was very interesting as we talked during the week of if we get a penalty, are you putting it in the same place? Because you know, it's so regular now it's Everybody knows where you're going, and uh, it was a dilemma. We were even discussing whether we pass the penalties over and somebody else take them because it's people know where he's going. And, and it was he decided to take a stutter in his run up goal. He went really early, knowing where he was going, and he side footed in the other corner. So um, it's great to add that string to his bow that he can go both sides. And um, just delighted it ended up in the back of the net and it secured the points. I think since I've been here, he's as fit as he is as fit as he's ever been since I've been here. He works really, really hard in training. He knows that. I've talked to him about it. When you get to 32, 33, you have to you have to push your body beyond where you think it's comfy, really. And Danny's doing that. If you want to extend your career, not about me, but I played last 37. You have to live the life. You have to work really hard. You have to be conscious what you put in your body. You have to drive yourself to keep going and if Danny wants to do that he has to just keep doing what he's doing at the moment and he's doing exceptionally well and the team are benefiting from it. But I'm sure Danny will want to finish top scorer, you know he's got a bit of weight to go to catch Charlie for instance but uh, um, but if he keeps performing like he is he will get the opportunity to play in the team and when he's on the pitch he can score a goal. Well I think it's I think it's something that needs mentioning I think I, I feel the group in there you should the subs the the lads who weren't even stripped, they're all in that dressing room. The injured players, they're all in the dressing room. They're all high-fiving each other. They're all part of it. Um, you know, and if we had some players as well, I think it's the test for the group is, is the strength of them when they're not playing, the strength of them when they are left out of an 18 and even though they're fit, the strength of them when they don't get off the bench, they have to celebrate with this team and be part of it because next week it might be them. Um, we are trying to strengthen in this window, I think, not to replace anybody, just to help the group get through really and um, and we have to pick the right team week in week out if we can, whether that's a, a technical team or a physical team, we have to have the attributes and the tools to be able to match what's coming next. I think so, I think huge credit to the supporters today, I think they, they knew it was a big game, they turned out to, to get the team over the line and um, yeah, so I'm delighted for the fans, I think they've had a, a tough time, you know, I haven't been here for however many years but it's... Um, I'm just pleased for the supporters, pleased for the owners that this team is winning again at the moment and um, and they can try and enjoy it whilst it's happening but we have 20 games, nothing achieved yet, we are just there or thereabouts giving ourselves a chance to uh, to try and get out of this league. Oh, listen, it doesn't matter to me, I think it's just about the bigger picture of, of trying to win football matches, trying as I said to try and give the fans something to smile about and, and know that they've got a team that win, lose or draw, everybody is giving everything for the for the badge and, um, and that's what I ask and we will lose some games from now at the end of the season and as long as they go down with their sword fighting I don't mind really it's because um, sometimes you can lose from a set play or an individual error and um, as long as you are banging on the door trying to win every match then, then I'll be happy. Okay, the hat is gone, folks. The hat is gone. Meanwhile, that was let's listen to what the fans have been saying and also some of the players. Uh, straight in the deep end with some fans. Jensen Hobson, central midfield. Elliot Bennett's best position by far. What a choice from Mowbray. Connor Booth, great win today. Made, by Wig made better by Wigan and Scunthorpe drawing and Bradford getting beat. Hopefully we'll make this weekend's result count. Jack Beardsworth. Great atmosphere. Let's keep it up. Back our team. Back them up to promotion. Amazing game. Deserved to win by far. Uh, upward and onwards. Come on you blues rowers till I die. Meanwhile Jack Earnshaw said 0-0 away at Wigan with 12 men against 9. 3-1 home to Shrewsbury with 11 men against 12. Mowbray said there should be another player early in the week. Nayimbi is turning into a beast and we're on our way. Can tell, someone tell me why Downing's goal was disallowed? I think he might have been offside. Uh, but anyway, Jonathan Pass said this. It's been a while since I've left Ewood buzzing. Uh, what a result. The atmosphere from start to finish was class. A reminiscent of the good old days. Every player gave 100% and there were so many contenders for man of the match. Mulgrew, Graham, Bennett, Dak, 
all fantastic today. Meanwhile, Gavin, there was a lot of comments out there, so if you are, uh, you might want to stick the kettle on. Uh, moving forward, Gavin Prescott said this, fantastic performance today, great result. Bennett, central midfield, inspired decision by Mowbray, could be our answer. And pressed with Armstrong when he came on. All in all, top performance despite refereeing, tried to spoil it. Roll on Fleetwood, cannot wait. Team spirit looks brilliant. Celebration at third goal, said it all. Alex Hook said, we're on our way. The passion showed by both players and fans today was awesome. It reminded me of Ewood, pre Venkies, Miles better, onwards and upwards, in Tony we trust. Robert Haynes said this, tell you what, I've slagged Bennett off for the last couple of months. Today, he was absolutely superb. Credit where credit is due. Every man and his dog was superb today. Up the Blooming Rovers. Meanwhile, Matt Wally Watford said five points off top. Screw second. I'm with you, mate. I'm with you. Let's let's go for it. It's not obviously second place right now. We got to try and get into the top two spots, but kick onwards. We can do it. We have the we have the players. I thought I thought Armstrong's cameo in the second half was brilliant. Man, can that kid run? Anyway, Andy Bowie said, I'm stating the obvious, but that result was massive for us today. Brilliant result, and with teams around us dropping points as well, this couldn't have gone any better. The confidence that the lads would have got from that game as well is huge. It could have, be, uh, it could have been more goals, but it should, and it should have been a clean sheet for Raya too. With a couple more additions to the squad, I'll be gobsmacked if we didn't lift the title come May. Well played to the players and to Big Tony as well. Our biggest game of the season, and they delivered when they needed to the most. Roll on the next victims, uh, I mean opponents. Meanwhile, Nathan Briggs, I think he does the old videos out there. Might as well check them bad boys out. All what it takes is for us to win once and other results to go away. And suddenly, we are closing in on the automatic spots and everybody feels a lot more confident. Let's pile the pressure on and get another win at Fleetwood next Saturday. Come on, you blues! Shane Morey said, Rovers need the transfer window shut. Don't want Mulgrew being poached. Alan Summer said, Mogu said on Rovers eye player, he was part of a team that went down, so he wants to be here to get us back up. Yeah, fingers crossed for that one. As for some of the players, Bennett said, absolutely fantastic result and performance today against a good side. Support was brilliant. And great to see Ewood bouncing after the third goal. Lots more work to do. Uh, Dominic Samuel said, great result today. Uh, meanwhile, David Raya said, great effort from the team and massive three points to get close. Fans were massively important for us today. Meanwhile, Naimbi said, class performance from the boys today. Important three points. Fans were amazing, as always. Meanwhile, Dominic Simon posted this cheeky little pic. When you know you got three points and you go home happy with my brother. Referencing Bradley Dak. Those two are cosy. Meanwhile, two former Rovers. Brilliant results for Norwich City. Don't really care about those. And Blackburn Rovers today. Madison is a player, and so is Charlie Mulgrew. Blackburn's game was maybe Celtic's loss with Mulgrew. And the uh, assistant manager or youth coach, wherever he is now, David Dunn. Cheeky little post, good free points. Come on, you blues. Meanwhile, Rover's tweet did this. Well, it was actually uh, Tony Watt, former Rover. I think he was on loan uh, a couple of seasons back. Shout out to Rover's Charlie Mulgrew's number one fan, Tony Watt. He, he was buzzing when uh, 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 Charlie's goals came in. And he made his... Uh, he made his presence felt on Twitter with these posts. Meanwhile, Ben Knight said, great team performance today, got stuck in, won the game. Said to my mate after four minutes today that this red is doojin it. Proven to be right. Raya, I have no idea what he said. Raya wasn't at fault for that stupid decision. He had his hands on the ball, crystal clear. Smallwood couldn't make a challenge all game without the clown blowing his whistle. But we managed to grit in and win it with comfort today. He did ramble on more and more, but I'm cutting it short. Uh, meanwhile, Charlie BX said, massive, massive win today. So proud of the lads. Bennett was a warrior yet again. And of course, Captain Fantastic, led by example. Oh, and we continue, and we continue. Frank Andrews said, three massive points and all of the clubs around us, except Charlton drop points. Happy days. Stuart Ogders, I believe he must be in Australia. 6 a.m. Sunday here, just got the result. Great win by the boys. Automatic promotion now. Craig Harding, I'm the happiest man on the planet right now. That's a lie. I am. Uh, I live near Shrewsbury and have to put up with these fake plastic uh, people all season. Now they can shut up and crawl under their rocks. I don't know about you, but I'm getting drunk, he says, if you want another word. Lee Hilton, not sure we need Lowe anymore. Smallwood and Bennett in the middle. We now need some wingers. 
Arian Quainor said, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Players worked for it from minute one. Fans played their part. Great effort from the club in the build-up to the game too. Well done, Rovers. Tom Abbasmere, blah, blah, blah. Tom Abbasmere and top performance. Jimmy Dixon said, great win at Ewood. Uh, Dak, Graham, Mogu are amazing. Henderson is a... Fell in. Put in your favourite word right there. The referee was 100% awful. We are still unbeaten uh, in a row of 16 games. This is... Uh, <laughs> there was not much talk on the Shrewsbury uh, Twitter feed. In fact, I think they've kind of they've kind of gone into a little bit of an early hibernation or a late hibernation, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, Jack or Salop Jack said, Black, but easily the best team we've played in this league. Far superior to Wigan, who were one of the poorest sides we've played over 180 minutes this season. Fair play to you to coming out with that. Oh, and it continues. Rosie Moore said, Gap closed on Shrews and Wigan. Who went to our match? Was it a deserved win? Safe travel, guys. Danny James, Gordon Slater. Come on, then. Where's the Shrewsbury fans giving it large tonight? And wrapping it up, David Hindle said, The worst referee I've seen in a long time today. Their left back should have been booked again in the first half to send off. And then Raya got his hand to the ball, but a pen was given. Superb performance by Rovers in a different class to Shrewsbury. We are looking really strong. Speaking of referee, my wanker of the week or dickhead of the week is the referee. Uh, so I'm going to let that on there for just a couple of seconds longer. And we're done. Let's go around the ground. Let's take a look at some of the other results that shape up the league table. Oh, let's go with Wigan. Where were they playing? Where were Wigan were at home, and they could only manage a draw against Peterborough. Uh, as for Scunthorpe United, fourth place Scunthorpe United, they could only muster a 1-1 draw away to Portsmouth. As for Bradford, oh my days, doesn't get pretty for them. They lost at home to Northampton. As for our next opponents, Fleetwood put on a pretty comfortable win, 2-1 away from home. Where will Amari Bell be playing? Next Saturday will be on Fleetwood side or will it be on Blackburn Rovers side? That's an interesting uh, conversation to have during this week. Well, that's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. Crucial part of the season. Rovers need to keep the wins coming. Uh, keep this unbeaten run going for as long as possible. And let's hope that Wigan and Shrewsbury slip up yet again so that we can squeeze up on uh, squeeze up on them a little bit more. Uh, before I go, I want to give a big shout out to the guys at the BRFCS forum. If you haven't checked out the forum, make sure you do so. There is a link in my description below. Great chance for you to chat with fellow Rovers fans and talk about the cool blimey result that we just had tonight. Um, also, I'm on Twitter, Facebook. Details for those links are in the description below. Anyway, i got to take a breather. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, chat for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. It'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. But if you want to check out something completely different, head over to my other YouTube channel. You do that by pressing the button right there. If you want to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, details are in the description below. So until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, chat for now.